Hi, uh, my name is Richard Bloom. I'm at the Oregon Country Fair, and we make up city and wind chimes, my wife and I, and have. Well, I started same year I started uh, OCF. I started in '73, I think. It's a little hard to remember. It's like the George Carlin line. Uh, we dig up obsidian just like you see it in these long shapes. Sometimes they're real skinny, sometimes they're thicker, uh, but they ring. And there's really nothing else I can think of that rings directly from nature, like the obsidian needles. And back when I started, it makes sense to just use other natural things to make them with, uh, instead of, you know, cutting out a metal piece or something to hang them from. I just started using nature stuff, driftwood, bones at first, and slowly worked into seed pods and flowers and seeds and just little nature bits. Uh, and like, it's fascinating. This is a monkey pot. It's not a pod, a pot. And uh, there's these delicious nuts inside and there's a, there's a cover that slowly pulls off. It doesn't separate all at once. And so in Central America, the little greedy monkeys will reach in for the nuts and then when they grab them, they can't get their hand back out. And, and the people reach out and, you know, dash out and grab them. And, we hope take them home and love them. That's what we decided. Uh, anyway, or something. Devil's claws grow in the southwest. It's a seed pot, basically a big burr. A bunch of them done together. Uh, this is the bud of a spider claw eucalyptus. This is the bud of a protea repin sugar bush from South Africa. A lot of stuff grows in Southern California that's very exotic. Everything we use has to be tough. And because the rocks do all the real work, <laughs> we get to just have a lot of fun trying to put them together in new ways. And uh, I think we do pretty good. Uh, been here, like I say, since 73 or something. It's a big part of our life, raised our kids here. Our grandkids come now. My friend artist uh, Spoonman once called the fair an essential experience. And boy, it's been true for me. Uh, uh, can't imagine my life without it. Anyway, we're at booth 85. Uh, and uh, we share with Kevin Fulton. I don't know if you see him back there, but he does blown glass, he and his wife, uh, Belinda. So we have two families working all together. And we both have sort of a glass connection. We both raised our families up here. It's been it's been good. It's I like it more. Thank you. <laughs>